What's up guys, Nikita here. If your website is slow, that probably means you're using shared hosting instead of something like a cloud server solution. So today our goal is to take our slow website and move it to Volter, which is your own cloud server. You're no longer on a shared hosting and then make sure that we set up server pilot to automate the whole server and then install WordPress on it. It's really simple, but you sort of need step-by-step -step instructions. So let's get started. I'll show you what I did. And by the time we're done with this, you're going to be running on your own. Go to Volter.com. I picked it because it's fast and it's cheap. From here, you can create an account. It's going to ask you for your payment. I just put 10 bucks minimum on it. And that's it and just paid. So once you have a payment done, you can go to the servers and pick a server depending on where you think most of the people are going to access your website. So I picked Los Angeles, for example. Scroll down and for the server type, pick Ubuntu. And for this, it's very important that you select server version 16.04 because that is what server pilot supports. Now, in my case, the $2.50 a month is out of the question. It's sold out, so I picked the $5 a month. That's more than enough for a small website, a lot of bandwidth, good enough memory, and a CPU. So start off with this one. You could always upgrade if you want to. From here, enable IP version 6, and that's it. Just click Deploy Now. The second step is to go to serverpilot.io and sign up put in your email put in your password the third thing you're going to need is a domain so it's something something dot com you can go ahead and buy domains I like to use Namecheap that's a good one if you want to compare a lot of domains go to domcomp.com and you can start comparing domains and get a cheaper price Here's what I'm going to show you. This is how it's going to work. Some person is going to go to your domain, www.mywebsite.com. From there, it's going to get routed to your domain registrar, which is Namecheap, for example. It could be GoDaddy, one of those companies that holds your www website. Then that website, we are going to set name servers to direct it to Volter. Volter, once it has once it's directed there, it's going to direct it. It's actually going to be managed by server pilot. Okay. And the server pilot is going to load up your WordPress website. So that's what I'm going to show you here right now. So let's do the first and the second step. Let's go ahead and make sure that our, well, first three steps, make sure that our website in our domain registrar goes straight to Volter. So to do that, I go to Volter. I go to my servers and click on the DNS, domain name server. When you click on that, look at the name servers over here. I see ns1.volter.com and ns2. You're going to need to copy and paste these. So copy this, go back into your Namecheap account or where, wherever you're hosting your account with. Now manage your domain. This is my domain over here that we're going to work with, superduperlooper.date. And all I'm going to do is go down and select a custom DNS. It was basic DNS, but I want a custom DNS where I can type in the name servers. Go ahead, copy, paste these two things right over here and say OK. It's probably going to, going to take about 20 minutes for this to take effect. But let's do the other stuff. We don't have to wait for this. Next up, go back into your server and go ahead and copy your IP. It's located right over here. And go into DNS. I already have something else set up over here, but don't worry about that. I'm showing you how to set up a brand new domain. Click on domain, type in your domain name, and type in that IP that you just copied. So super duper. There we go. And click add. There you go. It automatically adds everything it should add. So this is correct. Whenever someone goes to super duper looper, it's going to actually access your server record right over here. So that's done. Next step. We did this. We did this. 
let's go and set up server pilot and then the WordPress website which is going to be set up on server pilot anyways go into server pilot you should see your server running now go to apps what you want to do is you have one server server pilot is managing but you want to add an app essentially an app is going to be your different websites that it can manage for you I want to add a website click app click create app give it a name and give it a domain which is this one dot date that's our domain now select WordPress and it's going to automatically install that for you for a WordPress name give it a title give it a user give it a stronger username don't use what I use give it a password make sure you write down the password the username that's how you're going to access your WordPress and an email of course All right, for this, I'm just going to select PHP 7.0. I think you should have no issues with 7.1, but I just go with this one. Server, select the server in the list, and you should already have the server pilot as a system user, and say create app. If you go back into domains, you should see that there are two domains over here. This one and with the www. Leave it as it is, because when someone types these two things in, they're going to access your WordPress website. All right, let's see how it looks like. Go to super duper looper in my case. Click enter. Voila, there you go. Your website is all set up. You can go ahead and log into the log, log into here. So I just put in my username and password that I had before for WordPress and it all works. If you want to test your speed after you set this up, you can go ahead and go to Pingdom Speed Test and select the server, put in your domain name and, stay, and say Start Test. And as you can see, not bad at all. Let's say you want to add multiple WordPress websites. You can do that too. Go to your server pilot. All you're going to do is go ahead and buy another domain name for Namecheap, of course, something else, and you're going to set Again, do everything we did in the beginning. Set the name servers and also go back into here. Go to domain name servers and also add another domain. Do the same stuff as we did before, but for the new domain that you're buying. Okay. And then the final thing you're going to do is from server pilot, do not add a server. You're going to keep the same server, but what you're going to want to do is add another application. And the new application is going to be your new website. That's it. And whenever you go on the new, new website, it should work. That's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your questions in the comments below.